Next thing I want to do is put a save button on post pages so that we can keep a list of favorites. Let's see how to do that. First thing to do is to go to the post page and we're going to want to put another button in the header. We'll copy the home button and we don't need the href or any of the transition. We'll make the icon a star and we'll put this button on the right and we'll give it an ID. And set its text. So we need to keep track of the current post and save posts in the controller. And we're already keeping a variable in post before show with the current post, so we'll just use this.post instead. And what we'll do is make a new function here to update the post save button. And what this will do is when I touch the button once, it'll change the um, the text from save to saved, and then when I touch it again, it'll change it back to save. So this uses the save, looks up the post in the saved posts and updates the button. So the saved posts. has the, the post URL in it. If, it. if this means that it's not currently a saved post, the key is not in there. Then We set the text to save. And if not, we set it to saved. And we need to call this function here. And we need to set a click event on the button itself. So we'll do that in our initialize. And what we'll do is a similar if statement. In this case, we have to use our captured this, the app. variable and if it's not currently saved and we save hit the save button then we'll set the URL key to the title and that will save it otherwise We'll delete the key. And then we need to update the save, save button. So this, when we touch the button, we look up to see if the URL is saved. If it's not, we save it. Otherwise, if it is saved, then we're going to be unsaving it. So we remove the key and we call the update post save button. That just sets it to save or save based on whether it's currently saved. And we just make sure to save the current post in, a, in, the, in the post object 
and update the save button when we're done. Let's take a look. So it changes it to saved and changes it back to saved. We can see by going to another post. So I go to multi line and save that. And I go to this one, it's not saved. And here the first one is saved. So we know that that array is built, being built up. I'll save the RSS feed one. Look at the atom, not saved. RSS is saved. And that's it working right there.